Yeah, yeah, just seeing my forehead. What's good, people? Welcome, welcome, welcome to Be Rye Express, to the Interaction Theater, and you know, to other council, as you can see on the screen. Uh, this is a new game to me. It's not really new in actuality, but uh, this is a game I just ran across. You know, I be in the PlayStation Store, just you know, just looking at shit and seeing, uh, watching little, you know, video game clips of like these games that they got on the store that I may have never heard of. And so I ran across this one and it seems to stick with the vibe that uh, the Interaction Theater has. And I decided, you know what, why don't we try this out? Try this one out right here. So uh, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to play The Council. But uh, give me one second. You know, already know what I got to do. I got to let everyone know that the stream is now live and then we'll jump right into it. So let's give me one second, people. Sucks that there's no um, intro music in this in this uh, in this in a little intro screen. Now, that's that's already a. Uh, thumbs down in my book for that part right there. You know, gotta have some nice little intro music. When it doesn't, it's kind of like, eh, I gotta feel the feel the empty space, the empty void. All right, so let's share this out. Share it here. And share it here. All right, let's get right into it. Let's not waste no time. Let's see what this game is about. We're going to do the save one. Uh, let's get our settings together first. Got the subtitles on. Nice. We're going to turn the... It said 80. Let's turn it down just a little bit. Just to make sure it don't be overpowering. Overpowering. Rin. Alright. And since the subtitle's on, I believe we are set. This is the intro music I was looking for. It's not much of a intro music more than just like some background tones. But I can work with that. All right, let's go. France, Paris, Paris. December 10th, 1792. Oh, that's quite a time ago. Mm. Ooh. You're not getting anywhere with this Von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch oh. a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. <laughs> Not with your arms tied behind no, your back. I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, 
You can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. What happened? Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, smack him. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Oh, she is ugly. Son, didn't what <laughs> happened to you in Rome teach you anything? I mean, he is too, but... Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. Oh, what you making over there? With Some this, gin and tonic? Your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It oh, acid. In no time. No, it'll just... It'll you definitely know, loosen tongues and I everything to admit, else. Mother, Won't be able to talk. The you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. What's the damn Always motto? Always remain rational. And open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Y'all are whispering quite loud. <laughs> Draw him over here. Mm -hmm. Listen. Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. I always play the hero. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Alazif? Trust me. I'm a trust. I'm a trust moms. You gotta trust moms, right? Please. Be my guest, mother. Mm. Uh oh. I wasn't gonna say anything, but it looks like life had beat the shit out of both of them, right, Jen? <laughs> oh, back of the head with a chair. Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, huh. I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, mother. You know what? I'm with you. This time this is I'm some coming cheesy with you. dialogue. No, even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. You're no spring chicken Come anymore, on, mother. Let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchert. Okay. So we wasn't in no real danger then? Because all she did was just get up and grab the guy. Her voice doesn't fit her face, <laughs> right? Something is quite off, I'm not gonna lie. One month later. How are you doing, by the way, Jen? Hope everything is all and well with you. Hope you're feeling good, feeling fine. Mighty fine. But why they name is called Cyanide? Old Developers. A game by Big Bad Wolf Studio. <laughs> Old Developers. Doing okay, here am I? I'm good. I'm good, can't complain. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Bob Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer, and now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. It's quite dark. Wonder if I need to brighten something up. Episode 1, The Mad Ones. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, Why are you I'm bringing sure up your mama age? You once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. It was not the host himself who invited me. 
Well now, Duchess. We find ourselves both invited by Sir Holm. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Holm, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. Or the festivities. And you, good sir. What brings you here? Uh, business with Lord Mortimer. Personal reason. We're gonna try to be a little bit more open. Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Like a fish Would in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Really? Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, oh, mother's gone missing. Fortunate young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. And only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Yes. Uh, absolutely. Turn the questions back to the Duchess. Uh... Let's just change up the subject. He's a little more and inquisitive. You, Duchess, you seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It Why are you looking down like everything, everything is possible? Off. If you make the right choice. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. You don't have no better suit. <clears throat> Stop lying. Uh oh. Are you alright? Uh oh. Amnesia pains and all that. It's always amnesia. Big headaches and stuff. Hand shaking, yeah, that makes sense. Visions. Oh, here's the vision. Mother? Oh shit. Daniel. Your, hand. your face. <laughs> Forget your hand. So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No one's going to follow Damn, me. Damn, your hand is cut off, though. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, Mother! No, don't, don't! <laughs> what? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. Mm. But I trusted you. She don't care, huh? No, Sarah. Don't. No, Sarah. No. Is that her name? No. <gasps> oh. <laughs> she said, to, fuck that. I thought the Duchess was a streetwalker. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, she's. I guess she has money and power. You, uh, you, you are, die. Are you all right? What's going on? Oh damn, my nose bleeding. Here, take this. Take my hanky. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? No. I'm fine. Don't worry. Did you <laughs> Did you just see what happened? It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you? Okay. Are you sure? Yes! I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sure yes. Fine. She was just trying to be nice. Louis. If that's your real name. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Well, she... Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. All right, so first of all, I feel like, well, it is, we are just outside, but I feel like we need to brighten things up. Can we, can we do so? That's just a sound. 
No, we can't. <laughs> we can't do anything but to the audio. Camera sensitivity. Well, that's wonderful. You know what? We'll make it work. Let me just make my way to the, uh, I can run. Nice. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Why? Oh, okay. Oh, I get to choose my job. I'm a detective. The detective instead excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surrounding, as well as in people he questions. A uh, hands-on man. He does not shy away from the direct approach. An occultist, that doesn't sound like something I want to be, is a master of deception, convinced of the importance of knowledge. He has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. <clears throat> and the diplomat shines in society, a talented speaker. He avoids faux pas and he can convince those who, with whom he is talking without offending them. Politics is his field of prediction, uh, predilection, predilection. Eh. Uh, my go with the detective, cause you know I don't I don't fool with politics. I'm not no politician. All right, detective. Oh, we got skills for the detective. Oh, we got skills for them all. Okay. All right, detective unlocks the questioning, vigilance, logic, psycho psychology, and agility skills. You now have seven effort points to use your skills. Read people's behavior like an open book. Sure. We already got that one already. Yeah, we already got that one. Uh... Use your logic mind and or, or oratorical talents. Sure. Notice noteworthy details or oddly placed elements. Sure. Notice anything strange in someone's behavior or appearance. Sure. Use your coordination against your surroundings and sometimes against people. Co uh, what? Can't do that. All right. Uh, that's all the points we have. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll hold off on agility. We don't need it. Well, over the last few years, I've solved a number of crime cases. Like the chauffeur d'Angers, for example. Thieves the that chauffeur d'Angers. The victims with burning embers. Hmm, charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. <laughs> Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine. No, I don't like why you, how you, she me. said that. I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. Wait, We've Louis. Already met. You, you do remember me, that. You? Uh, clearly not. I said, see, I said it. Amnesia. Not at all. So lie to her. <laughs> wow. Why would I lie to her? Not at all. Sorry. Uh, I don't know. No, we'll, we'll be honest. I don't know. Can we trust her, though? We'll say not Please at all. Please excuse Sorry. me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but... I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Okay, he's doing too well, much I right now. I say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Ah, she Please liked it, stop though. torching me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years Why is he moving his head so much? No. Sorry, I, I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Oh, remember? in the office, huh? No? I'm so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. 
Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't oh. matter. Oh, right, so y'all got it on in the office? <laughs> he don't remember? Hmm. Bad news. Opportunities. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive, suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points to access the skill required for the situation. You just need to have it unlocked. Okay. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personal personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited, exploited vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. Got it. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Riche. Yeah. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Ah, oh, Lord. But, Louis, you don't remember shit, so <laughs> you're going here like... I don't know. You're, you obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock con conditions, unlock conditions and effects as they offer very interesting improvements. Review all talents in the dedicated tab menu. Got it. All right. Shall we? Shall we go in? Wonder if there anything to interact with. Goody. Sir, may I ask your name, please? Louis Moraz de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted Mr. de Richet. to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you, we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Oh, so no one knows where she is? And why you got a mask on, looking like Vega from Street Fighter? Uh, you must be Sarah de Richet. Yeah, yeah. Where is my Lord Mortimer? What do you know about my mother? We don't need to ask him that. We don't even know him. Where is I Lord have an with Lord Mortimer. Would you be so kind as to lead me to him? Unfortunately, sir, I cannot. I don't know exactly where my master is. But rest assured, sir. Okay, so you don't know where anyone is. You You're moment. useless. Sir Holm insists on welcoming you in person. Since your mother went missing, everyone has been concerned about finding her. I'm Who is sure. Sir Holm? A close friend of Lord Mortimer's. Please, rest assured, sir, it won't take us long to find your revered mother. Indeed, we are searching the caves again, because lights were seen at the wharf just last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost is the effort points in. Okay, uh, I don't have any. And did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of damage, sir, on the wooden part of the wharf. What type of damage? Broken barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could Mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered mm. with the initials S.D.R. We mm. came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know but my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll on the wharf for nothing. That she other woman just gave me that same handkerchief. Where exactly did you am find I, the am handkerchief? I, am I not remembering that correctly? Box, sir, the one you arrived by. The Duchess. Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, 
I... I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes, but... Invited by your master. Invited by your master. Because my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please. Uh, and get having on him. only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It All right. never my intention So give to it, hand it here. Sir. Here you are. I must return now. It is still much to prepare and okay. hope to welcome That seemed pretty peace. easy. <laughs> I only had that one choice. It is that I could spend my point on. Mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Ain't no telling, obviously. Mother be getting it in as far as we know. Oh wow, we can go all the way around here. It's so dark. What is this? Okay, we can just open it or step back. We're gonna step back. This is probably not where we need to go right now. Okay, I'm just trying to get an idea of what type of game this is. Oh, okay. So I'm supposed to go that way. It's not gonna let me go back out that way. All right. Yeah. Let's let's go then. Yeah. So we take a boat here, and they trying to turn us around at the door. What's wrong with them? Locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. We ain't got no pick lock. Eh. Alright, gotta be a better way around there. Can I upgrade my abilities? What's up, Doc? How you doing? I am doing well. Hope everything is well with you. Oh, we got stuff we can check out. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Royal Jelly restores two effect effort points. You cannot carry more than five. Okay. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Is it easy for y'all to see? Can y'all see on stream? <laughs> Cause I can't. I can't see and I'm playing the damn game. Alright, uh a sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. <clears throat> it was kinda dark, that's what it's I thought. An old gate. This miserable uh, bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean. And the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. And the tip is blackened without analysis to the contrary. I put my money on cannon powder. Take the bar, leave it. Eh. Take it. This Why not? Just come in handy. That bar is gonna help us get on, get in the, in the building, right? In the gate. Let's see. Let's try to get somewhere with a little bit more light, since it doesn't have any option to turn up, turn up the brightness. Okay, we got the iron bar. Clearly, I'm not much for manual labor. Okay, so you don't know how to do that. In another way. Damn, guy. Force it open with the bar. We can definitely try it. Uh. 
We got one level of duty. It's two levels. Let's step back for a minute. See if we can find anything else. <laughs> It's, it looks a little better when I watch it from my computer instead of my phone. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. At least I just want to make sure y'all can at least see something. Uh, cause, uh, kind of difficult. Question. Oh, no difficult question where it came from. Probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. by the splinters of the wood this floorboard has been ripped up yet it was in decent condition i wonder why someone ripped it up what's the point of doing this they're giving us a lot of stuff to look at and spend our points on hey, so when we need them we're not gonna have not them. right about <laughs> this floorboard Ah, uh, come it's on. It's different from the rest. It's different. Yes, it's different. We can rip it up. Somebody replaced it recently. It looks like it's fixed pretty solidly in place. It's going to be tough to rip it out of here. Maybe not with the rusty iron bar? Let's try that. That does it. Hey, let's Let's do it. hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. For crying out loud, what's happened to you, Mother? So in this story right now, Mother's gone missing. His mother, his name is Louie. We're in 1792 or something like that, the year. Uh, and we have come to this big mansion on on a, a mountain because we she was last seen here and now she's missing and some other people are missing as well and we don't know where neither of these people are. All right, manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during this adventure at the start of each quest you can choose what to read and gain permanent skill points okay so we can access our Look menu page a little food a few toiletries a small key and some kind of black powder we're going to examine everything some fruit a piece of bacon and some bread Fruit's still firm. Bread's a bit stale. From the smell, this food's been here roughly two days. And if it's rationed, there's enough left to last two more days. Hmm. An iron key completely rusted. Of course we're taking a key. You never know. It might be useful. I hope Mother wasn't counting on it. Examine the personal belongings. Those are definitely my mother's things. I recognize her hairpins. This bag smells of her perfume. A piece of soap. Some oils and her powder puff. What does all this mean? The bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. Should I take the bag or leave the bag? I don't think we have a reason for the bag. So we're gonna leave it here. Right, that's enough. I think I better leave her bag here. If she hid all this, it's because she thought she might need it later. For crying out loud. Why did you hide supplies in the middle of nowhere, mother? I don't know what's going on here, but you obviously feel like you're in danger. Right, let's uh go to what we got. We got our rusty iron key, mother's handkerchief, 
Emily's handkerchief. Okay, so that's her handkerchief she gave us. But they, I swear they look the same. An invitation to where we're at now. Uh, let's go to our... We got talents? What the world? Okay. We mastered the talents, I guess, by doing the stuff. So let's... We got... How many points do we have? Can we use anything? Guess not. Okay. All right, anything else somewhere over here, over there, anywhere? Take a look. A lantern, nothing special. Let's see what's hidden inside. Oh, you're gonna watch, look at people's letters. Examine one letter at a time, find a clue. Okay, let's go to find a clue. Let's make it easy. Ah, uh, <clears throat> one of the letters is stamped with the seal of the order. And I recognize your handwriting anywhere, mother. But who is this Samuel Ritter Doshua? Who are you writing to? I don't recognize the name. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend, Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richet. De Richet. came here, mother. Secrets, always more secrets. You've never talked to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. Oh yeah, did I mention our guy has uh, crying out loud, amnesia or something? Keep bringing up. Think, Godoy, Godoy, Manuel Godoy. Why does the name sound so familiar? No, I can't remember. Damn it! If I was a politician, I would have remembered. I'm guessing he's a man of some importance, Spanish, I'd say. But just can't put a face to him. Well. Hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. I bet you've got a lot to tell me. I was saying that the, the dialogue is kind of cringe, so y'all bear with me with it. Okay, did I just grab a rope or something? Oh, I got points for investigating. What is this right here? Nothing? Okay. Can I go over here? Anything else? Anything else? I just want to get inside the building. They won't let me in. Let's see. I guess now I can try to force myself in. I think that was an option. Oh, we got the key. Let's get it. There we are. All right, let's get to some light. This is, uh... Not a triple-A game, so there are some issues. There we got some more j royal jelly. This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just How do you like know she vision. got the gun? And none of it's telling me anything useful. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Uh-huh. What do we hear? It's cannon powder. Examine the cannon powder. We can't do it. No. Nope. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. It's a so, waste. Let's go through this. 
My mother's been hiding pieces of bread between the rotten wood. Just find an amber fragment each time you pick up four of them, you'll increase your maximum effort point by one. Okay, cool. Amber. I just, I just cut off the whole conversation he was having with himself. My bad. Well, we know what happened. Mother's missing. You know, that's basically it. She's here somewhere. Because she has a plan to do something, which we don't know what it is. Is this what we all, all that we came here for? I thought this was a way into the freaking building. I guess not. I guess we got to go the other way now. I guess this is all that we needed in here. Can we leave back out? Yeah. All right. Maybe we can go up into the cave now. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? That's when you got money, baby. You can build your house anywhere. <laughs> Those are some big ass doors. What do you need doors that big for? the conditions. Nice, nice picture. Whoa, impressive. Ah, my son, I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sada Dedice, aren't you? Sada Dedice. You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope, but I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help... Confrontation start? Uh -oh. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of the story, so don't hesitate to use your skills. Okay. Thank you, my son. I'll bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't, don't take, take it personally. It personally. Would you know what? You Give me to your... know if your mother has arrived yet? Yes, yeah, she's been here for several weeks now. Never mind. Give me your letter. That's just... Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow. Okay, we see it. By the way, Your Eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest of God. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Okay, we know, Louis. Our he keeps saying the same stuff. Been if only I knew where my I mother was. Like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's it's surely just an oversight. Most certain. Okay. You said you work together. What do you do exactly? Uh, professional secret, sorry. <laughs> We're members of the Golden Order. Uh, we got all that stuff locked. My mother and I belong to the same secret organization, the Golden Order, which I joined a few years ago. Mother trained me, and I assist in her research. That man in really wants words, to find his mama. Exactly, Doc. He's serious. My child, you are telling a perfect stranger that you and your mother work for a secret society. It would seem that discretion is not one of your specialities, my son. You <laughs> will understand that it does not encourage me to put my trust in you. Ah, damn, I fucked up. <laughs> All the same, 
It bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me, and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I hesitate. I hesitate. Now, we have always dealt with her in person. And that has always been successful. All right, let's try to get this right. Do you think I should give it to you? Duh. Why not? Uh, yes, I'll give it to her if I find her. Yeah, you can count on me. Uh, it depends on what it contains. Only to... you know that, Your Eminence. If you're asking me if you can trust me, or if I can keep a secret, I would answer yes, absolutely. I understand. In truth, Yay. it all depends on the nature of the contents of your letter. It is a list of names. This list must be of extreme importance. Ah, if only you knew. It's a list of people that your mother must help. Can I help do what? If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will for the last step of a confrontation, you must convince the person you are talking to by giving a posi positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until you either give a right one or you have no blunders left. All right, so let's try just try to give a right answer. Listen to me, child. If you give it to me, no, 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 thank you, no. Why would I say no? Okay, no worries. That's all we, the ch only choice we got. I swear by the Almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Good. Listen, <laughs> let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur de Luce. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Got it. The letter I spoke of. She's a great woman. Got gotcha. you. of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah okay. when you see her. That time is short. He told well, me not to read it, but he just told me everything that was in the letter. Whether to look at what it contains. Cool. Many clues and items are hidden. Some of them will have an impact on your adventure, so do not hesitate to look for them. All right, give me one second. Let me cut off this alarm. Be right back. All right, all right, all right, let's get it. All right, so now we get to look for stuff. And it's a little bit brighter here, wonderful. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch, a biography of the great men. But I can't even look through it. I can take the book. That's the only other option, sure. I'm already stealing. I just got here. <laughs> already stealing. Can't you invite people nowhere. Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Is that, can I open it? No, I guess I can't. Gang, motherfucking gang. What's up, Perk? How you doing, broski? Hope all is well with you. Even though I know it is, we just talked not too long ago. Uh, I've just arrived. It might be bad manners to go upstairs without being invited. <laughs> but it's not bad manners to steal a book right off the damn shelf? Sure. 
Use that logic. Hey, a Russian ruble. I wonder what it'd be worth today. Devil Storm. Devil Storm grants you the exalted state. You temporarily see the immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice in a conversation. You cannot carry more than five. All right. Devil's Thorn. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. All right, let's go on and join the conversation. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. Right now, I'm nice doing A1 high. Play 1 8 game of Apex and hop right off. Got smoked ASM. <laughs> what's island, going to, what's this game though? More than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? I'll explain in oh, one second. Late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monsignor, His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simple. George Washington, President of the United oh, States. Oh, is that really George Washington? Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, oh, wow. Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richer. So we under an honor great you. company Young right man, now. let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. I especially wasn't expecting to meet George yet. Washington. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. Yeah, this is supposed to be a party. Why is it just like six of us? <laughs> forgive my indiscretion. <laughs> what were you talking about? If uh, you'll forgive my discretion? Well, why do you want to know? My mother, president. At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence is was that the Pope? That I guess so, Doc. How much he, he they call him your in, eminence. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even no. money matters. See, but you'll see. Of course it's come, George Washington, all the good Mr. Nosy American. Can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends. Do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Holm, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richer, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Okay, y'all are real nosy. Uh, invent something. you come out here exactly. I guess we shouldn't tell him, right? Like you, Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so funny. <laughs> Seriously, though. I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Oh, uh, okay. So you must know something. You must know something, know something. Good Lord. Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. That joke was wrecked the <laughs> very much, Doc. The <laughs> it puts him on par with my mind. They look like they drink the blood of the Negro. Really know his stuff when Shut up, Bert. <laughs> Good evening, my friends. Holy shit. That's the man for my vision. An urgent case oh, has delayed God. our Whoever this Lord is, the Mortimer. Grim Reaper. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? 
great start. Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English aristocrat. Ah, that's Holm, okay. Influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer. These people look so ancient, I'm telling you. <laughs> You should have and seen my mother. My mother looks rough too. In the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too <laughs> much noise. He like you heard to live, I know. Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Look like, the, look like the crypt keeper, I'm Don't telling you. Take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Uh, we're going to stay with Washington for right now. He, he's the one who said he had something to say about it first. Let's listen to what he has to say. Let's see what Washington has to say. Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. Okay. He didn't yes, seem too happy about that, stay. but he was trying Just to be like nice about it. When I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Oh, no so he already knows. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is, in fact, the leader of the order in the United States. Obviously. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to He didn't know the that that was the president? You did well. <laughs> okay. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our He's not from America, obviously. If I can help in any way at These all, people are not to be trusted <laughs> to at all, Perk. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. All right, so let me just go and explain what this game is. First of all, um, we woke up. Uh, I guess this was a vision or something that me and my mother was tied up. Uh, we had to get escape and whatever from this guy who had us held us captive. Uh, but anyway, he wakes up and uh, he's here at this place saying he's come. His mother has gone missing, been missing for like two weeks, and uh, he don't know where she's at. He also seems to like he's have some type of amnesia uh, because when he was trying to remember something his nose started bleeding and he started having these little visions about his mother killing someone so uh, now we're trying to figure out what this is what's what where mother is and there's some other people missing as well uh, the game seems to be like a murder mystery type thing oh that's George Washington yeah bro that's actual George Washington <laughs> uh, okay uh, where does Emily know my mother from tell me more about Mortimer uh, mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer but has never wanted to tell me why Lord Mortimer is a remarkable man he's wealthy and is advisor to the very highly placed your mother is the head of the order in France it doesn't surprise me that he asked her to come. Lord Mortimer greatly contributed to financing my electoral campaign, for example. But I want this to be clear, without ever seeking to gain an advantage. And that is to his credit. Yes, you can trust him. He will do everything in his power to help you find Sarah. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. How did he come to know her? When did he see her for the last time? We... When did you last speak to her? Philadelphia, 15 years ago. Oh, that's a long ass Sarah time ago. often went back and forth between France and the United so States. So how are you going to help me yes, if you haven't seen I her in 15 years? I didn't see her too often. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May are I you? ask? When you Supposed saw be, each other, when, I guess that's honest Abe, not, <laughs> not George Washington. May I ask, uh, you saw each other, what did you talk about? Or the mysteries that surround us, or the Golden Order, perhaps? And we can't politic with them. Uh, we don't have enough points to politic. Uh, 
When she came to the U.S., did you exchange ideas about the Golden Order? Exactly. What's more, she was essential in helping set up the American branch of the Order. I would never have become its leader without her help. We are okay, so my mother helped you become the president. And nice. to achieve our democratic ideals, we need to count on discreet powers such as our organization. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information, thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. Uh, do you know, do the order, do the others in the order know, do you think? And what if my mother has left the island? I don't think she's left. So, uh, yeah. Mother still is at the head of the Golden Order. I find it difficult to believe that she came to this island without notifying the other members. As for myself, I did not know. I am here at the request of Sir Holm, a situation regarding the Crown of England to resolve, mm. and to see what Lord Mortimer has to propose to us. As for me, we've got Lord some very Mortimer important people here on one island, the of America. one murderous I island. Know that your mother would even be among us. In any case, no one has yet mentioned associating the Order. We haven't found many clues yet. Uh, show the book found on the quay. Don't speak about the book. Let's show it. I don't know. But I did find a book that belongs to my mother. Where did you find it? That's what worries me. I found it hidden on the wharf. Do you think she was preparing to discreetly leave? I don't know. An extremely likely proposition. I'll believe it when I see it. Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Mm, yes, I, I, I don't know if I feel like I should have showed them that book. I feel like that was a mistake. Careful, they're coming back. <laughs> Y'all looking suspicious. Who is these people? Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too Ooh, much your time face, in man. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. <laughs> it's like every I time you see his face, you just want to scream, ah! It all a little <laughs> like every, ah! But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. Sir Holm, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Elizabeth? Uh, let's see what he see. Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks yes. like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Washington looks surprised, but Holm doesn't seem to see it. I wonder if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see his discomfort. Oh, well, I'm sure he sees it. Late. You must be exhausted. He seems like a the conniving. The you to your rooms. All right, so we're going to be staying here. Wonderful. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, your eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Why y'all gonna why are you gonna put me somewhere else? Why can't I go with everybody well, else? My friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? Is that down the hall, huh? Well, let me investigate, though. Let's 
Let's investigate. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon is in here? Oh, okay, they got they got all the big names here. Monsieur Jacques Peru. Jacques Peru. We we must be part of a secret society. The quorum guide. All right, hold on. Can we upgrade our talents yet? We can't. Guess not. Maybe we can do something else. I really don't know what all this stuff is. Okay, guess not. All right, fine. Let's just continue investigating. This is a big ass place. I hear it creaking and stuff. And going there. Monsieur Johann van Wunder. Okay, Johann van Wunder. Nothing. Nothing. I mean, they just let me go around the whole base of the floor, huh? I appreciate it. All right, let's just keep going. President George Washington. Okay, that's George Washington's room. royal stuff. Monsignor, his eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Okay. Huh, that's me. Ah, here's my room. Here we are. See if anything else around here though. Into this hall at least. Duke Manuel Godoy. All right, so that's back at the beginning. All right, let's go to my room. Right. So what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Piaggi's trust. What should I do? Ah, we can't do that yet. We're gonna leave the letter. For now. Damn. Can't wait to open it, but I gave my word to Piaggi, so... Too bad. I'll wait until I hand it to Mother. Wow! Nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. Rad room! Carmelite water gives you the focus state. Your next skill will cost no effort. You can try to, you cannot carry more than. All right, so yeah, I need to use some of that Saint stuff. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. Saturn devouring his son, again? I saw the same theme in the hall. I wouldn't like to be his son. The Conversion of St. Paul by Caravaggio. It's incredible. It doesn't look like a copy, but I was sure the original was in Rome. St. Francis of Assisi in ecstasy before superior voices. It always amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. 
Alright. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. I can go out back. this inferno by dante all right look at that all right Abandon okay. hope all ye who enter here lovely lectures mortimer is giving to his guests very okay. jolly nothing Just to look over the balcony, I'm guessing. Enjoying the view. Extra points, okay. Collect this coin. Nice. Oh, what's this? Some more. Some more. I'll take some more. Can't go in there. We can go in here. Okay, bedtime, I guess. All right. <laughs> that was episode one. I thought it would be a little bit longer than this. How long did this go? I just feel like it didn't go that long at all. Uh, yeah. All right. Off the coast of England. Well. Let's see. Are oh, we going to allocate some points? Got one more point. Uh, repeat behavior. Notice anything strange in someone's behavior or appearance. And we'll. Can I? I can do it on one of these too, huh? E. Let's see. And I already got a point for that. Two points for that. Eviction with fear force. Yeah, we need some of this. Take one of those. I, I think that'll work. Here you can choose what to read during the adventure. Each manuscript you read confers skill points at the end of the quest. So I can equip one, rules of civility and decent behavior. Parallel lives. Mysterium Cosmographicum. 
skill and science, skill and psychology. So we got skill and etiquette, skill and conviction, skill and science, and skill and psychology. I think we're doing fine with the psychology. Let's get some conviction, I think. Oh, we could go for science, but science seems so boring. Let's go for conviction. <laughs> uh, Dreaming? He has to be dreaming. Oh yeah, he's definitely Your dreaming. Plan? The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. Can't you give They'll him your mask? <laughs> he needs the mask. Time is restricted, given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Yeah. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. Oh, who is From this? From what I've understood, the search of this Dorishe's mysterious man hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Mm. That might come in handy. Put me in the room on Louis purpose. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. How am I seeing all this? Oh, what a pity to lose a night at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. Fuck the chess game. game Gregory? I'll have one of my men escort you back. He's getting upset over this chess game. Himself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? Oh, this guy's evil, clearly. Uh oh, he about to, oh, he about to. Oh, he done threw a chess Don't piece in the fire, Our really? Games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come, take a seat. Okay. Attitude much? Clearly, I'm still dreaming, right? That's not me. Yeah, that's not me. A little nighttime stroll, Mr. President. Or oh, is that me in the disguise? Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. I don't, you just Thank can't you. trust that guy. And to you too, <laughs> sir. Don't trust him, President. <gasps> it's just a door, don't worry. You fell asleep with all your clothes on, too. I mean, if that's how you sleep, that's fine. But I'm you, know, coming. you might want to change. At this point. Alright. Before I cast the door, of course. And look at other stuff. Circle shaped key, cool. Dear Monsieur de Richet, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. Why not, I Mr. Mortimer? Sure that we are doing all we can to resolve the case that concerns us. By the way, enclosed you will find a key that will enable you to retrieve the personal effects your mother left behind. Yours faithfully, Lord William Mortimer. Okay. I'm coming. Hold on. Some 
more royal jelly. The torture of Ixion, condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. Devil's thorn. More devil's thorn. More collector coins. Coming, hold on. The incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on, but doesn't touch. Can't unlock that still. And we looked at all this stuff. All right. Let's get this door. Excuse me. Am I bothering you? Yes. <laughs> nah, you're fine, no, Doc. Fine, Mr. President. Is something wrong? I'm going to need your help. Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? Yes. When the time is over, the answer is automatic selected. I thought I pressed the time. No. What's her name again? Elizabeth Adams. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. Ah, okay, we remember John Adams dead. in history. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens. I was present at her funeral. Oh, wow. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. Indeed. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. And perhaps get my hands on some <laughs> important information. The president is going to sneak into someone's room. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington oh, the guy with the weird kind, white beard. I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. Investigate about my vision. Help George Washington. We'll help. Maybe that'll help find out what we need to find out. Let's help Count George. On me, sir. Thank you, my friend. Keep Elizabeth downstairs as long as possible. She must not return to her room. Trust me. I'll do the best I can, sir. According to Washington, Lady Adams is in the small salon. I better hurry. All right, how we get to the small salon? Louis, oh. you're straying from your objective. Oh, my bad. Where's my objective? How am I supposed to know? Need to go downstairs? Yeah. All right, here's some people talking. Look at everybody knows he here. Uh, my son. Oh, you are a godsend. He's listening What's through the, the door. Evidence? I believe that Miss Adams may be in danger. What do uh -oh. you mean? Do you hear that? She is being manhandled in this small salon. And you ain't By doing nothing? I don't know exactly. You've been uh, listening, father, you don't even know. Frenchman, it seems. By the a thug, though. And say he's a member of the French Revolutionary Government. You should do something, my son. Me? Sounds dangerous. <laughs> Why should I be the one to go? No, we're not gonna ask this. I was just say sounds dangerous. You're right. That sounds like it might be bad. Good lord, that's all I needed. How am I supposed to keep Adams busy now? Do you know if the man is armed? No, I don't. Uh, I barely saw him. If this thing starts to sound serious, call the servants for help. I certainly will. Oh, thank you, my son. May God watch over you. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Forget Okay, multiple paths. There are multiple paths to reach your objective. It may be a good idea to think twice before embarking on the first path you come to. 
to me, sir. If we were in France, I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, just let me go back to my room. Hey, you! Stay out of it! Why is she making half her hair? I'm gonna teach this little slut how to behave. Wow! What's going on? Huh? She is the president's daughter. I don't think well, you know not the president yet, but will be a president. I, I didn't mean to. Don't hit me, please, sir. Damn. Shit. If I step in, Adams might just run back uh -uh. to the room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search, but this girl's gonna uh -huh. suffer. Damn it. What should I do? Oh. Huh? Let her go. Huh? Stay out of it, boy. Shit. She did what run back to the I told you to mind your own business, boy. If you think okay, you're you gonna get enough to call me, boy, and then just walk away, you're out of your mind. Give me one good reason not to knock you down. Hit him. <laughs> uh, remind him where you're he is. You're not back in your slum now. You're in Lord Mortimer's home. I suggest you think carefully about what you're going to do. Don't think there you're getting go. away with it that easily. I'm sick of all these toffs. If we were in Paris, I'd send you all to the guillotine. And on top of it all, a woman telling me how I ought to behave? I won't stand for it. Oh, okay, okay. Some Wait old school way of thinking Don't there, tell sir. Me you're gonna defend these harlots. Jesus. Play along with them. Let's play along uh, with them. Women, right? They really do drive us crazy sometimes. I totally understand. Yeah, and every time they open their mouths, it makes you want to slap them. I get the <laughs> ah, damn. You it makes you want to slap them. The case, you're making a big mistake. <laughs> Sorry about that. Look, there's no point in us aggravating each other. Let's both just <laughs> we're, go This is a ways. different time. No, we're in we're a different time. Yet. You wanted to be the knight in shining armor and save the damsel in distress. <laughs> well, damn, I know, dude. <laughs> Let's see how brave you are. Whoa, he pulled out a gun on me. Uh, someone threw you off balance, and the cost of effort points increase when using your skills. Uh, I've watched you, and you're shaking. I'm betting you won't fire. Caught in this bluff. Hey, we could have got shot. Of beating Lord Mortimer's guest in his own salon. Thank you. They are shooting them, hopefully. You got off easy this time, but don't try it again. <laughs> that guy, that guy there, I tell you, got some issues that needs solving. The brooch Elizabeth was wearing. Huh. She was so frightened, she was unaware that she'd lost it. Yeah, well, it didn't seem to do her much good. All right. So what else? What else is around here? Hey, these look like pages taken from an ancient encyclopedia. There's a pattern with five circles on this chest. Can't do anything with it. Don't have a key. Alright. Got some royal jelly. Can't use. I'm full. Lady Adams must have locked it behind her when she fled. Well, did you get time to search the room? No. Nope. I only needed ten minutes. Imagine the scandal if she had found me. What would you have done in my shoes? She was in the middle of an argument with some angry guy. Ten minutes. I didn't ask for the moon. Nonetheless, you found what you were looking for, didn't you? Not everything, but yes. Elizabeth is definitely okay, uh, the daughter uh, of Mr. John President. Adams. We need more information. 
You, you wanted ten minutes back. while he while Which the woman got really her ass know. beat, so you can snoop through her room instead of just talking to the lady. All right, President, I'm not too fond of you anymore. I shouldn't have voted for you. I didn't vote for you. <laughs> America shouldn't have voted for you. Give me one second. Hey, whoa. Cut it down a little bit. All right. Uh, uh, so where do we need to go now? Can't go up there. Go back up the stairs. I'm not sure is that where I want to go, but we're here. Your Eminence, what are you doing here? I was worried about you, my son. Oh, I think you're lying. Go with Miss Adams. I think you're lying. Don't worry about that sure. anymore, Your Eminence. I had to step in, but everything's under control. <laughs> what an adventure, my son. <laughs> I am relieved to hear it. You acted as a good Christian. In these troubled times, we need more men of your caliber. It's nothing, Your Eminence. I did what I had to do. Well, you did the opposite. Good. Huh. Well, Ran away. Hey, he's an old man. Of course, he is not going to jump in. He could have got I beat up too. To speak to you about something important. Do you still have my letter on you, the one I gave you in the hall? Why do you ask? I have a name to add to it. All right, get a letter back to him. Here it is. Thank you, my son. Ah, I see that it's still sealed. I was right to put my trust in you. Give me one second, please. I can't imagine what would have happened if I hadn't added this name to the list. Please, be sure to give this letter to Sarah the moment you see her. You can count on it. Have a good night. All right, your eminence. The music does not fit <laughs> with what's going on, but, you know, makes it seem a little bit more upbeat, whimsical. All right, uh, I guess I was supposed to go through that door that I saw. We'll see where that takes us. That's my room, right? Yep. I'm exhausted. I better go to bed. Well, I'll search my room tomorrow. Mother stayed here right before me. You never know. And Mortimer had better show up. Something ain't right. Why did they got y'all staying here? Alternate past, I could have listened to what Mr. Washington wanted to say about my mother. I could have found out more about the men of my vision. I could have found out more about the plans involving myself. I could have had I could have had a remarkable encounter. A remarkable encounter? Hmm. Something about my mother's past. Okay. Got more points and stuff. Good job. Let's uh keep it up. 
Be up to date with scientific knowledge and medical te techniques? Sure, why not? Sound of cultural background, arts, geography, and history. Really still divert people's attention. You know, we'll add that to the list too. Express your grasp of geopolitical situation. Sure, why not? That might help. And I think that's all we can do. No, we got one more point. We'll add it to, we got linguistics or your dishing. Sound, cultural background and arts, geography and history. You know, or in foreign languages. That might come in more handy, I want to say. We'll give it that. vision yesterday I saw that mother had this room before me I better search the room who knows maybe she left me something behind all right uh, we got a next reading The encyclopedia cannot be equipped. Uh, let's go with the Mysterium Cosmographicum. All right, so let's start searching what's under this bed. Nothing. Of course, I just slept on it. What are you talking about? The torture of Ixion. Condemned right, we, by we the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. All right, let's search the, search the room. We can't get in here, right? I haven't even had time to unpack my cases. A lot going on. Oh, right, yeah, we already seen that. Just a picture. We don't care writing material ah let's inspect from what i see no inks ever been used on this quill the smell reminds me of something it smells like lemon that's odd quite odd odd indeed We have a way to open this yet? We don't. You can't sabotage. Got it. I feel like that's what we need. Uh oh, what's this on the floor? Secret Look, door? Markings on the floor. Secret uh, door. Just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. This is a secret passage. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Oh, this bookcase is well stocked. Yeah, just pull oh, one of them, is just like the old Adam Assembly venture. A voyage around the world, the travel log of the explorer. Where are my Adam Family movie, movie fans at? One of Mother's favorite books. What a coincidence. And I don't believe in coincidences. It's just too much. I don't know what's going on here, but if you felt threatened, I'll bet you'd leave a clue, wouldn't you, Mother? Found it. A faint sign of the order. Barely visible. It <laughs> just Mother, so happened to be in the book you look at. Undoubtedly must have hidden a clue in this book. Right. Let's see if I can find anything else in this room. I can't examine. No. All right. Oh, I'm not far from solving the puzzle. I must keep searching. All right. Keep on searching. I'm gonna keep on, keep on. Let me stop.
There's a circle around the lock here. Must be Don't the key Mortimer was talking about. The key should open it. Yeah, I was like, don't I have the key? There's a note. Effects of Sœur de Richie to be given to her son, Louis. I should probably take it. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. Have no space left? Can't get rid of stuff? How do I not have any space? There's literally nothing but books in my inventory. And letters. And handkerchiefs. I mean, I can't hold nothing. And some few coins. Alright, fine. A nice day out. I have to leave something though, right? Could something be out here? It's just looking out. Nothing. This room looks unoccupied. Okay, so nothing in that room. Interesting enough. Alright, so I believe we've looked at the whole. throughout the whole room. I believe there's anything else to investigate that I know of. Can't leave out though, so gotta be something else. Look, markings on the floor. Eh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. Ah. I can't reach it. I gotta find something to reach it with. Get one of these chairs and move them over. What are you talking about? Hmm. Nothing here. I wouldn't mind a nice, strong coffee, though. And grab a footstool? These? How many stuff you can stand on to grab this? Come on, video game. At least I'm in my dream. I haven't even had time to unpack my cases. Oh. How do I get that thing there? Uh, I don't have enough points. Let's see. Oh, I can do, uh, next skill use is free. That might be what we need to use. Here's negative alert, uh, uh altered alterations. Restores two of effort points. Just do that. Amber crystals. All right. Probably should have used it on that, huh? <laughs> uh, that doesn't help. Uh, I'm not far from solving the puzzle. I must keep searching. All right, let's see. Let's see. Retrieved everything. All right, got everything I need now. Finally, can I leave out now? I can't. But now, can I solve the answer? Nope, can't do that either. Okay. Uh, I'm not far from solving the puzzle. I must keep searching. 
What else is here? Anything else at this bookshelf? No. Still need to find out how to get in here. But we can't unlock it right now. Nothing. Alright, so I'm lost. Once again, lost. Writing material. Didn't we inspect it already? What if we inspected it already? No point in inspecting it again. Should inspect it again. I don't know. I'm lost right now. Crosses must be Piaggi's room. All right, so Piaggi's room is next to us. Not sure of what I need to do. That's right. Let's, let's uh, inspect, I guess. I think we did this already, but we'll be wasting a point. Why not? Choice I already made? Oh, yeah. That's what I thought. I'm glad it told me. All right, so we know it has something to do with that freaking bookshelf. Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. I wouldn't like to be his son. And they won't let us leave the house. So we need to get this bookshelf open. I know it opens. I know you open. Not far from solving the puzzle, I must keep searching. So what, is there another way to solve this puzzle without having the points? This shit is confusing. St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on but doesn't touch. Hmm. St. Francis of Assisi in ecstasy before superior voices. It always amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. I wish they wouldn't let me look at all these pictures, because I feel like there might be some reason to look at them, and there usually isn't. Uh, gotta be something I can do. There we go. The 
paper's rougher around the writing. The paper's moist here. Very light stain, barely visible. And the smell reminds me of something. Come on, Louis, think. Think. Think, Louis. Let's recap. My mother was in this room. I found right. a rare edition of her favorite book. Uh huh. She must have left something behind. She applied a liquid to the book. She must have used the writing materials. Rarely. The quill has been used, but not with regular ink. A message using invisible ink. I bet she used a limit to leave a message. Now, how do I reveal the message? Figure it out, Louis. The message is illegible. I have to keep searching. Alright, so now we just gotta figure out how to reveal the message. Take the ink. that and I've just stained half the page oh my god ink is always used to write a message never to reveal one I must find something else why why did I do that you know what can we let's take that back can we do that I just <laughs> I can't believe it Trip me out. And that. Okay. Well. Let's leave that. Uh. Alright. So let's. Candle, of course. <laughs> Can't believe they just let me use that ink to just mess up the whole damn paper. Burnish the page with the candlestick. <sighs> this may not turn out right, but let's maybe try it. Aha! It's working. Okay, good. The heat reveals the message. Let's see what my mother wrote. Where all eyes size you up, you must pass by the Gorgon. Gorgon was the name of Medusa in Greek mythology. On the other hand, where all eyes size you up, I don't get it. And judging by the number of paintings in the manor, could be anywhere. Damn! The message continues, but thanks to me, the rest of the text is unreadable. Great. Ah, <laughs> I did it. My bad. I hope it wasn't a unique addition. Her mother's gonna kill me. Now I better hurry and find that damn Medusa. Jesus. Okay, sir, door's knocking. Dinner is served in the red salon. Typical. In the red salon. I'm not hungry. Please give my apologies to all the guests. No, you can't uh, do that. Home requests your presence, right. sir. Right, uh oh. Well, Ugly man. I I'm just gonna have to wait before going and looking for my Medusa. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. I can't believe it. Alright, we unlocked member of the order. Guess we can go now. <laughs> Ugly man. <laughs> that's 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 the name best suits him, Doc. If I get it's a chance, best suits. I may have to take a little tour through the rooms of the other guests. All right, you want to sneak through people's rooms now, huh? That's why you don't want to live here. Even stay the night here. People be guessing everybody in your room. You thinking they, the president and the pope. 
<laughs> they all snooping through people's rooms and watching people get beat up. Terrible. That's the door to Elizabeth's room. I can go in here. For God's sakes, what happened in here? Oh, damn. A fight? See, now I gotta investigate. A chest with a half circle pattern. I have, I don't have the key no more. I don't. You know what? We'll be all right for right now. <laughs> See what we can find here. A devil's thorn to be used to uncover the best disguised traits. Looks like I found a box containing some kind of white crystals. Consume the crystals? Please don't. Let's not do that. Let's not do that, no. We, if anything, we need to examine it, but we can't do that right now, so no. I've learned my lesson. Great, honey. About just trying stuff. Whoa, I did not see this, this devil worshiping sign right here. Carmelite water. A cache. All right, so maybe she summoned Satan and he destroyed the room. He definitely destroyed the room. What the hell is going on all over here? Hey, I found a key. August 24th, 1792. Elizabeth, I am driven to despair and doubt there is any point in writing to you. I'm not even sure you'll receive my letters. Father controls my correspondence more and more. I am certain he filters our exchanges. Thankfully, one of the chambermaids is able to help me get my letters to you, but they still remain unanswered. I often think about you and pray every day. Why is he reading like this? Tight. It's, it's too funny. so much time to make up. I beg you, answer me, please. please. Your loving sister. Abigail. 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 P.S. That horrible woman came again yesterday. Horrible woman. She spent a long time speaking with Father. I didn't understand everything because they spoke in French, but I'm sure they were talking about you. I'm going to talk like this every time I go on stream. Maybe I will get some more views if I'm just calm and relaxed. As I'm telling a lullaby. June 11th. 1791 my dear elizabeth your last letter gave me much cause for concern your words were so cold as if emotions no longer matter to you father maintains the secondary effects of your treatment still trouble you you but trouble that they will soon subside should i believe him should i, I cling to the belief that we shall soon see each other again at long last right soon your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. Don't forget to tell me what present you want. So as far as we know, Elizabeth has gone some type of crazy. We should stay away from her, never to see her again. Because that would be the wrong thing to do. Louis. Let's get the hell out of here. I do have a key. My dear Elizabeth, oh, I'm letter. writing to inform you of some unfortunate news. We won't be able to meet as planned on the first Sunday of May. I've been told that you're no better, and unfortunately, your brothers and I are absolutely snowed under by the work required to govern this new country. Please excuse us. As soon as we can get free, even if it's just for a day, I promise we shall come and see you. Your loving father, John Adams. P.S. Don't hold it against your mother if she still isn't ready. Please don't judge her. I'm sure 
You Please don't judge. Just behind you one day. She won't judge you. All right. Go. Let's try to open this key box. A chest with a half circle pattern. Okay, I thought we had the key. I guess we didn't have the key. All right, move away. We're not consuming those crystals, so I guess we're done here. Alright, uh, we can't go downstairs. So they want us to investigate these rooms, I guess. Can't go in there though. Can't go in there. Can we go upstairs? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I saw a, a dot that showed me that I probably could or probably couldn't. I guess not. No, we're not gonna worry about it. What's Devil's this? thorn. Devil's thorn. Alright, uh. Can we go downstairs now? We can. Excuse me, Monsieur de Richet. I really need to talk to you. Is this about last night? No, that was just a misunderstanding. I'm sure it was a little bit my fault, too. There's no excuse for that man's horrible behavior. All right, you want to you smack you. Home. <laughs> Look, the only thing that I care about is that I've lost something precious. I'm not worried about Jack Peru. Give her back a talisman. You didn't happen to lose this, did you? Where did you find it? In the small salon. It's the only reminder I have of my beloved sister. I thought that swine stole it from me. Okay, well, calm down. Her I have son, it. Sarah de Richet's son. Correct. Yes, why? Last night, I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? Uh. My mother came here to do business with Lord Mortimer, but she seems to have gone missing. So I'm here to find her. I know your mother very well. What do you really? Mean? Yes, I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. She nursed you. Oh, I wouldn't say nursed. No, I remember her stare, cold as ice. Her sadistic hands pressing over my mouth okay. to silence me while I screamed and. Pain. Oh wow! So you I don't like her my mother? Too. She held me down with them while she cut and burned scars into me. Oh Hold wow! Hold on a minute. What do you mean? You can ask her when you see her. Huh, she's getting more and more agitated. Okay, clearly mother wasn't a good person. At least not to this lady. And next you're going to tell me my mother's also responsible for that scar on your head? My heart stopped twice during the operation. Oh, wow. I lost my memory for six months. Jesus. You obviously have no idea of the abuse your mother inflicted on me. Wait, no, I don't. There must be some kind of mistake. My only mistake was ever meeting your mother. She's able to describe every detail without hesitation or getting flustered. It's becoming difficult not to believe the poor girl. Look, I've I've got to go. Wait, I, I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? Uh -oh. There must be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? I understand my mother find out the truth to allow her to confide. Use a soft approach. You're Use right. I. Approach. I don't want this conversation to turn into an interrogation. Yeah. You've suffered enough already. I, I respect your silence. Please nice. excuse me. Nice psychology. Well, thank you. Well, let me tell you something. I know your little game. Ah, fuck. You're no different from the rest of them. Damn it! You couldn't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. Don't say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you, don't they? 
mentioned her mother, mentioned her father. Oh, her sister. Her sister cares about her. Haven't you got a sister? Yes. I'm sure she loves you with all her heart. That'd get her. That'd She's get her. She's the only one who cares about me. Right. I would have put I an end it. to it all I by remember. now if it weren't for her. I remember. Since you insist, I'll tell you how I met your mother. Thanks for trusting me. You see, before I was born, my mother often suffered from hallucinations and fits of anger. Soon people could barely recognize her. She became a completely different person. So, my father spent an enormous amount of money paying for the best doctors, but none of them were able to cure her. The last resort was to call a priest. So, is that what your father did? No. He went to an expert in the occult. Ah, my mother. Mm. Her reputation already extended beyond our borders. My mother's fit stopped at my birth, and Sarah de Richet concluded that the evil had passed into me. Not only did it encourage her to stay, but she took the opportunity to advise my father to separate me from the rest of my family. That's how I was declared stillborn. My fate was decided that very day. Wow. It would coincide with my mother's frequent trips to America. I had my first fit when I was three. You don't know anything about That's your mother, your do mother you? when your mother began her Louis. experiments to rid me of the evil inside. I understand how you feel, but I know my mother. I'm sure she had her reasons. And you know, I Even went into your room and there was like believe. a pentagram on the on her drawing on the floor. Was all for nothing. My whole life was ruined for nothing. I don't know about for nothing. What, so is, what brings you here then? Explain that pentagram. Used to know Sir Holm. He offered to introduce me to the world's leading authority in the occult. Lord Mortimer. He was my last hope. Until I found out he had also invited your mother. It's got to be a coincidence. I don't believe for a second she's coming for you. You can't change my mind about this, Louis. My days are numbered, and I know it. All right. Interesting. So Mother is not as good as we thought she was. She rocking that half hawk though, you know. <laughs> That's a new style that she rocking back in 1792. Who, who used to rock that? Cassie. Cassie used to rock that. That same style. Alright, let's talk to actually before we talk to you. Do we have anything we can any points and stuff we can grab? Any hidden things? Yo, who beat her ass? <laughs> hey, Perk, she, she, she just explained that, uh, it was probably our mother. <laughs> our mother whooped her ass like that. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. Day and night, sir. What can you tell me about our host? I have a few questions about the manor. Wondering if you can help me out. What can you tell me about the guests? Can you tell me what about can the you guests? tell me about the guests? Do excuse me, sir, but I am bound by discretion to say nothing about Lord Mortimer's guests, sir. Oh, really? Perhaps, sir, uh, would like to know something else? Sure. Tell me about the host, I would like then. to speak about your master, Lord Mortimer. Do please excuse me, sir, but I shall make no comment about my master. Well, okay, so you can't talk Is about that either. Else that, sir, Fine. Uh, tell me about the manor. What can I find on the ground floor? Yes. Can you briefly describe the ground floor, please? Very well, sir. On the ground floor, there are mainly living rooms. Sir finds himself at present in the grand hall. From the grand hall, sir can access, on one side, the small salon, where the guests like to relax with a good book. From there, Sir can access the conference room, which is closed at present for preparations. Okay. That is where Lord Mortimer likes to gather all of his guests for talks. From the other side of the Grand Hall, Sir may access the dining room. 
That is where Sir's meals will be served. Obviously, from riveting. the dining room, Sir may benefit from an exceptional view overlooking the island. It is also the best way to access the portrait gallery, where a large part of Lord Mortimer's works are exhibited. And in the gallery, okay, Sir you're will also really find long access to with this the one. garden. But Sir may be reassured, the building is accessible on both sides so that it surrounds the garden in question. So, Sir so should not find cause to worry. No one has ever gotten lost. Mm, I've never Except asked if mother. anyone got well, yeah, Sir, definitely. another question? What's on the first floor? What's on the We're first gonna, floor? This is going to take a while. The first floor is reserved for guests, Sir. That is where Sir will find his private rooms. The main corridor leads around the building. Three stairways he goes will very in Sir depth about to this place. To the ground floor. It is also from there that Sir will be able to reach the second floor. Thank you very much. Okay, Anything that was else, a little Sir? shorter. What's on the second floor? Yes. What can I find on the second floor? That floor is strictly reserved for Lord Mortimer. Mm, in the obviously. west wing on the second floor are his private chambers. In the east wing are the rooms reserved for Lord Mortimer's personal guests. Aren't we At all his moment, personal guests? These rooms are reserved for Sir Holm, sir. Mm. But only authorized guests may access that area. Mm -hmm. Does sir have any more questions? May I walk outside? What is outside on the island exactly? Lord Mortimer has made a point of keeping the main part of the island in its natural state, sir. For security reasons, only the wharves and the gardens are accessible to guests. If Sir would like to walk along the wharves, he has only to follow the pathway used upon his arrival. If he would like to walk in the interior gardens of the manor, I would advise Sir to pass through the portrait gallery. May I help Sir in any other way? No, thank you. You're quite entertaining, but uh, wonder if you could help me out. As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? Uh, would you have a golden elixir? Would you have any devil's thorn? Got any amber? Manuscript? I'm not sure. What's that book you're hiding in your jacket? The Sorrows of Young Werther by Goethe, sir. And I am not hiding it. Hand it to me. Please. Damn. It is damaged, sir. I would never dare lend Sir a book in such a pitiful state, sir. Uh, not if I require I it, it to that's restore. fine. Okay, I can't demand it. Fine. Would you have you a golden elixir? You have a little golden elixir I could use, would you? Oh, unfortunately, sir, I have orders not to give any of that medicine to any of Lord Mortimer's guests. Oh, wow. Some guests are here to follow a very strict treatment. Mixing or combining certain substances would be dangerous for sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. It's not for consumption. That's fine. I have no intention of swallowing this remedy. You see, I generally use it to put the shine back on my shoes. But maybe you'd rather I ask permission from Lord Mortimer. Where is he? I'd like to tell him about my shoe problem. Sir need do nothing of the sort. There is no reason to disturb Lord Mortimer with this small matter. As you wish. Uh -huh. There you are, sir. I hope sir will have enough with one bottle, as I haven't any more. Oh, I'll sure, make do. thank you. It's good of you to get this much. May I do anything else for sir? For sir. I think we're fine. We don't need anything else. Alright, uh... So now... We know they don't want us to go to the second floor. No, they don't really want us going outside either. Interesting enough. Can we go back upstairs? Nope. Uh, got to be something to do there. Can't go there. Yeah.
Dear friends, I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Oh, your face. Allow ah. me to introduce our new guests. <laughs> Every they time. arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs. Okay, and that's the white bearded guy. Frederick William II, King. We've met him Prussia. before. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army. And Jacques Peru, French okay, Revolutionary Tribunal we, we were unim judge. unimpressed with Jacques. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining Why us. Why is he morning. never here? He should be with us later. Somebody, so, somebody's hiding begin. something. What He's never Mortimer around. Planet? We've never even he met him yet. come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? Don't trust yourself. Thank you again for the vine, Your Eminence. Opportunity miss? I missed. The king's table. I missed an opportunity. I am delighted. What a fan of attention. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. Of course. My dear Johan, how are you? I missed Glad another opportunity. Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, 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 I understand. I shall feel better too as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of he does sailing a lot of moving. the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, and my friend, like I am shaking in my clogs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These rich people jokes is... Is the wine to your A pain in my throat. Very much so, Sir in my Gregory. Ass. Such complexity. I missed another opportunity. Typical Obviously, this is stuff I couldn't do because I don't have enough points. Absolutely. If I'm not mistaken, this is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation. Oh. During a single quest, our, con our consumed noxious element dialogue timer is no longer visible. Oh, no, I'm drunk from the rule, yes, but I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry, I appreciate the same grape varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. It was still in ruins. Would you repeat that? Oh, well, uh, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I... I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. <laughs> oh, Thank what a nice you. thing to do. I made a promise. Now it is done. Now just put a mask on and people will be much happier. It's the first time I've ever seen her so moved. Just mentioning that orphanage broke right through Emily's hard shell. What is that? <laughs> is everything Bro, I don't know. Yes. It is a condition. That's what it is. It's a condition. But here I am again. Uh. What do you think of Volner? Many believe he is the real leader of Prussia. A charming man, but with an iron fist and a velvet glove. I also know he's famous for his love of the hunt in all its forms. Thank you, George. Have you any information on this Napoleon? And you, sir? He's certainly well connected and in high places. Surprising. No one appears to know him. They won't. No one knows me. They and will here later. I am. Quite so. <laughs> ah, he's immune to my Monsieur conviction. Richard, it would seem we have common interests. Could we speak in private, please? <laughs> sure. Napoleon. A lot taller than I expected. Oh, don't you? He gonna push me off the Lord Mortimer and the Golden Order, through your mother, have concluded a financial. You look too close. Back up off me, partner. Louis. I'm listening. An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. 
You must know that I am deeply sorry about our disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. Why are you looking like that? I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her Well, absence. I haven't assured I you yet, so I can't do it. Still, this is a bit hasty. Right. But please continue. <laughs> please continue. I like how he's holding, how he's holding it down right now. Among my allies. Well, of course. And for that, I have a little question for you. Ask the away. agreement stipulates an aid of 50,000 Louis d'or for 200 cannon. We have an agreement. No, I cannot agree on such a deal. I don't know. Uh, absolutely. Fifty thousand Louis d'Or in hard cash. The offer I'm talking about was for only twenty thousand Louis d'Or, Monsieur de Richet. The truth is, you really have no idea about our agreement. Ah. So you're wasting my time. I need to work with people I can have confidence in, sir. Okay. The exact well, numbers may have you know escaped what? Let's go. Let's I take suggest that back. wait for my mother's return in order to manage such details. I have one last question I would like to pose to you. That's we okay, don't dude. know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. Given the hard times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? It's our lust yeah. What do we take to restore the lust yeah? Uh Let the people make their own choices. You are joking, I hope. The people are simply not capable of taking charge, don't you see? They are an uneducated mob who react on the spur of the moment, incapable of providing a coherent vision for the good of the country. I think there must be a misunderstanding. What do you mean? Ah. I cannot believe that Lord Mortimer advised me to speak to you. I must have misunderstood. Excuse me, please. <sighs> Bravo, Louis. Total fiasco. Yeah, that went very well. We don't like Bonaparte oh, anyway. I would like to say a few words, please. Bonaparte. I would like to thank Lord Mortimer. And ah, your face! Soul for bringing us all together here. Those of us for whom it is not the first time here, like me, are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> but I can assure you that each and every one of us has always benefited from them. <laughs> The last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. So I raise my glass in honor of you all. My new and old friends. I trust you shall Yay. not be disappointed, Mr. Washington. Ah, your face. Right. We shall meet again tomorrow. All the guests will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused. All right. Interesting. I could have searched Napoleon's room. Ah, I didn't do that. Probably would have had went a better conversation if I would have searched his room. Are we done with chapter episode one at this point? Do have some more points to allocate. Uh, let's get you, because we need to unlock some shit. Um, 
get you because there ain't nothing on here for you. And we can add one to the versions. That'll work. And one to Let's get a full one. Oh, actually, no, nah, that's fine. We'll do that. All right, let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. All right, so we're heading back to mom's room. The etiquette should have had that for for lunch. Episode is a lot longer than I was expecting. I actually thought it was it ended their first time, but I guess this is part of just the episode. Well, your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, the scene of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. Nevertheless. What a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Waldner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes, eternity. I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. Well, can you You'll tell see, us where it's Lord the Mortimer is? It's place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah. I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing, your minutes. Yep, but nothing yet. I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. He invites people to his to island work. and then never shows up. Probably. Well, I, I must admit, Your Eminence, indeed it does worry me. I understand, but continue to have faith in Santa. You'll see, I'm sure, that in a few days we'll all be laughing together. Yeah, That's I'm not too all convinced. I hope for, Your Eminence. Not but too convinced. While I have you with me, I, I have a question for you. Well, go ahead, Louis. What can I do for you? Looking for Medusa. If I said to you, where all eyes size you up, would it mean anything to you? I don't know if it's the place you're looking for, Louis, but it makes me think of the portrait gallery. There's a gallery here? Can you tell me where to find it, please? Of course. Just go through the door at the end. It will lead into the library. Continue all the way through, and you'll end up in the gallery. You'll okay. see it, Louis. When you get there, You'll know. You'll know. Thank you very much, Your Eminence. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, Your Eminence. See you later, my son. All right. He helped us out. Appreciate that, sir. Devil's thorn. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Another key that we don't have. Can I can I unlock it though? The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Let's see. We can unlock it. No, we can't. It's locked. Not gonna let us do it. All right. Uh, let's keep going. Going and get on out of here. Take that. That's locked as well. All right, so now we're in the wow, wow, what a lie. <laughs> when I heard him say library, 
this is not what came to my head. I was thinking something more smaller, more compact, like just one little area, one room. I mean, this is one room, but Jesus, they got, you got to climb a ladder to read a book. Atreus, the Miller brothers, mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Honey, honey. Pages out of an old encyclopedia. All right, so now we should be in the room we need. Oh wow! Look at him with all the art in his his uh mansion. size you up chances are that's the room my mother spoke of and she also spoke of a medusa should I go and try to find the creature now as you're here all right so allegory regarding the declaration of the rights of men that's the least you could say we gotta just find Medusa. Liberty or death by Regnaud. Well, I'll take liberty, please. Right, but please. Well, I do understand his choice, even though it seems radical. Give me liberty or give me death. Ah, a painting by Ang. Molière, dining with Louis XIV. The king's posture is surprising. It's almost as if he's addressing someone in the assembly. I can't go out there. Good. I'm over there we can get. Oh, that's just a seat. I wonder what <laughs> the point of a game letting you just sit down for some reason. Just, just to relax. Take a break if you need to, without Someone's pausing again. The there. Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. All right. We're just checking this side first. Go around and check the next one. Roland feeleth his death is near. His brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Ah, Francois Premier, receiving the Holy Family, a painting by Raphael. The Fall of Phaeton, another painting by Rubens. Poor Phaeton, struck by lightning for borrowing his father's chariot and losing control of it. Moral, don't steal dad's chariot. Got some amber, collected four amber fragments. Your maximum effort points decreased by one knife. Amber crystals. The Company by Rembrandt. Hey, Rembrandt. A meeting between Louis XIV and Philippe V. I wonder why Mortimer is particularly fond of this painting. The Sisterse. Okay, some more calamite water. Another golden elixir. Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. The last day before his crucifixion, Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. We know that story so well, don't we? Celia. That name means nothing to me. All right, so that's it. Let's go to the next room. Anything here? Nothing. Nothing. Alright. Hmm. A painting with no name. There's the Medusa. I've got to find. 
find out what Mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword. Wow, he doesn't have any underwear on. with a lantern. Neither one of them does. Why do they got their little penis out like that? I'll stick my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The devils are about to face the beast. Video games. I swear. Let's give them a helping hand. Guess they wanted the art to be as realistic as possible. All right, so leave that there. The origin of myths, a reinterpretation of legendary creatures, just what I need. All right, so the text is in French on the left-hand page and in Latin on the right hand. Let's. I should be smart enough to read that, right? Read the French page first. Hang on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra, the gorgons. Ah, the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. Hmm, okay. We need this hero with the sword to brandish weapon, right? Pull out his sword on the Medusa. Let's think. To vanquish the beast, the statues have to be lined up in a specific order. What can this shield be for? To protect its holder? Why not? But in that case, yeah, from the Medusa. what's the lantern for? Step back and take a second, Louis. Be logical, but open-minded. Think outside the box. Nobody said a statue has to have only one use. I wonder if the lantern was to distract the Medusa. This shield can both protect the holder and also reflect the light from the lantern mm. to distract the beast. Okay. In other words, I'll have to make an angle of 90 degrees between the lantern and the Medusa by turning the shield to face the sword. If Mortimer's the one who thought of all this stuff, then honestly, he must have a screw loose. Crazy idea, but worth a shot. Okay, so we're going to turn the shield to face the sword. Facing the Medusa. And we got the lantern guy. Facing the shield guy. You already know the value of the lantern. Now, Louis, it's time to keep a logical mind, as every good scientist should. The aim is to defeat the Medusa. So what can the lantern be for? To light up the Medusa? No. <laughs> Hardly likely. The hero so the, holding I should the lantern be pointing towards the shield, the right? shield will be of no use. To light up the sword? No, that makes no sense. So that leaves the shield. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if the aim is to play with the light. If I turn the shield right, the light would be reflected. The ray of light will perturb the Medusa and focus her attention on the best protected hero. Right, so we're gonna hold it towards the shield. And then have Medusa look at the shield.
Damn. Puzzles. There's the rotating room we was waiting for. The secret entrance. Rah, oh wow. For Pete's sake, Emily. <laughs> you scared the she pants was off us. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop oh, fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. Uh, answer frankly, dodge the question with humor. Answer with a question. Where I discovered frankly? a hidden message from my mother. She explains how to find the secret room. Something must have attracted her here, so I've come to check it out. And you? What brings you here? My, you're curious. Yeah, Let you're curious. Guess. Go on then. Impress me. Oh wow, really? Whatever, make a joke. I imagine she is looking for someone too. She has to investigate Mount Mortimer. Uh You're spying on Mortimer, right? Everyone is spying on Mortimer. Shall I take that for a yes? Take it as you please, but I wouldn't be surprised if all the guests were around here somewhere searching the manor. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your service, madam. I found an amazing ring, and there's an inscription engraved on it. You're married. Why don't you wear a wedding ring? You mean wear something just to prove your love, not my style. Okay, makes sense. Not gonna pressure that question. Can't read none of that. That sucks. Hey, what else we got in here? A book. An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. How did the English manage to get their hands on them? When someone wants to attract the attention of the world's leading power, somehow the gifts just pour in. You wouldn't have gone to the Vatican recently, would you? Are you calling me a thief? Mm. Certainly not. Never entered my mind. Eh, entered mine, because I'm not sure if I can trust her. She claims she knows us. Freeze. It's freezing, hurry up. Do you think that can really be Jason's golden fleece? No, you are aware that Jason and the Argonauts is a myth, aren't you? But Mortimer's been protecting this hide. It must be of great value, don't you think? Certainly of historical value. This kind of hide is still used by gold diggers in Eastern Europe. Now you see how easy it is to obtain a legend. Why do you have to act so nonchalant every time I show you something? Louis, anyone She's can seen kill it a sheep, before. rip off its hide and say it's the golden fleece. We're at Lord Mortimer's, not at some farmyard fair. You're just too skeptical. And you have a tendency to believe anything. Talk about mm. an unlikely pair. <laughs> Yet, you know opposites attract, don't you? All right, stop it, Louis. She's not interested. Hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. He talks about his passion for art. Quite interesting. More coins. All right. Anything else? Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. Huh. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that. Okay, old. she's being an this asshole. Could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's laurel wreath. Trying the crown. Why Lord's is a symbol. Mortimer think he's Caesar. I can just see Mortimer dressed in a toga, wearing a laurel wreath, strutting around his manor all day long. You have a curious idea of Mortimer. Why? 
He's eccentric, like all the English are, isn't he? Well, if Peru stands for French grace, then if I were you, I wouldn't be making that sort of remark. All right, five. Well, looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. Mortimer James. <laughs> You should see the sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. Got that from uh, American Dad. You know what? I don't know what kind of sword this is. Let's this access the weapon. This is typically French, quite old. Undoubtedly goes back to the Crusades. If it is a true Damask sword, it's worth more than a kingdom. I thought he said dumbass sword. <laughs> That's what I get. Uh... I don't know. I still didn't pay attention to what kind of sword it was. I think it's the sword of Genghis Khan. I'm wrong. I'm probably Fresh wrong as hell. Classics. Asian weapons are definitely not this shape. That's American. All the swords uh, forged sword, in Asia right? don't necessarily have a curved blade. Are you blind? It's a thrusting saber, a pure product of the West. When you yeah. don't get the last word, I mean, I kind of knew that. Goes all aggressive. Even though not that in depth. I Are just chose something. Playing? Maybe you can help me search the place. Okay, stop with the attitude. Uh, I don't even remember your name. Duchess. I just call you Duchess. Here's something interesting. A manor in Maine. Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia. Properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old. And all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? See those fine scratches around the words? Yes, and? The ink barely spreads on the paper. It spreads exactly the same way on the signature. The deed was written using the same ink. If it is a fake, then it's a professional job. <laughs> These documents must be fakes. No man can own that many original works, no matter how rich he is. Be careful. The Order has tried many times to estimate his personal wealth without ever succeeding. And look here. Castles in Scotland, vineyards in Italy, districts in Venice. He's richer than some European countries. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? What do you think of this collection? Why conceal these assets? Uh, how has it all been acquired? Uh... How did Lord Mortimer get all this? It's just crazy. Secret connections, money, or a well-kept family treasure passed on from generation to generation. Who knows? That would mean some of Mortimer's ancestors lived before Jesus was born. Yeah. I wonder why my mother didn't make I mean, it clear that's what not she was I mean, it's not impossible, right? She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. We'd have just searched the whole room already, lady. Tired of searching. What is that you found? A oh, don't. pendant. Don't be What's curious going on? now. Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunge for that Emily, like come your on. Life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of saving And if you said we met seller, before, so how are you saying we just met? And just trust me. And why the hell should I place my trust in you, Louis? Because I don't want any harm to come to you. Clean up your own, because I trust you. 
Because you already did so once. When are you going to understand that I just want to help you? What do you expect? That I'll fall into your arms and say yes to everything you want? What are you talking about? I'm only asking you to trust me a little. If only on principle, as a member of the Golden Order, for example. I'll admit you are fairly reliable. That's it? I was expecting Fairly more. reliable. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm Damn it, Emily! To help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help. Just like everyone. You have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! <laughs> And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? Oh, yeah. That's what I do. Pragmatic, intelligent, sure of herself. Her only weak spot is her difficulty talking about herself. I don't know much about your past, but I'm guessing you had to get by on your own for much of your life. It might have closed you off, and that can be a disadvantage. It might be time for you to open up and risk a little trust. Not every man you meet wants to hurt you. Hmm. Yes, you may be right. Ah. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? No, I don't understand. Are you sure about your short-lived collaboration? Collaborative partner. Actually, I don't have to. I guess I could. No, I can't because I don't have it. Uh, oh, it's crystal clear. You don't like people telling you what to do, and you do like giving the orders to everyone. If I were the matron you speak of, I would have found an underling to search this place, and I would be sound asleep in my bed. I already have a work partner. Uh, I, I should know have my that. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me. But I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler, so... Your partner is... My mother. It's as obvious as it is surprising. You're my mother's hard-hitting partner. Oh. God, do you really believe the nonsense that comes out of your mouth? Well, I was wrong. <laughs> a second ago, I did. A okay. little. Sorry, Louis. Your mother is not my partner. Okay. Your sister. She's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. Yeah, there we How go. How the devil did you guess I had a sister? Virtually no one even knows. Of course I know. You told me. Did she forget she told me? Without. You deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant affected me so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma, my twin sister. Oh, oh, you have a twin. Now I get why you said you had a memory for two. Yes. You can't imagine to what extent, though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day we decided to play along. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Clever. But isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one, then for the other. We dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. When it's we weird. accept a mission, I guess there's some together. twins could do that we this just time, won't though, she understand. Went ahead and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. <clears throat> she was meant to meet Sir Home and bring back the details so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return from Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, 
no trace of my sister. Hmm. Instead, a sailor passed me a message from home, notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So, my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Maybe their disappearances are linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace of either of them. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself. Or you will pay very dearly. dearly. Don't She's worry. shaking her head like, You're dearly. You're safe with me. It's time to leave. All right, let's get on out of here. So, what do you think of our first adventure? I must admit, it has been fun by your side. Same here. Oh, she's been drinking too much again. Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please, don't leave me alone. What's going on? I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. Oh, damn. She, she made that seem freakier than it should have seen, sounded. I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louis, we need to talk now. Otherwise, it'll be too late. Looks All right, like tell me what the deal is. needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure, Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? We got to follow Emily, I mean Elizabeth, to see what the problem is. Sorry, Emily, but I can't leave Elizabeth like this. All right, Elizabeth. How can I help? You have Thank to sound you. like that. Uh, you look me. hurt. How can I help you? Hurt and distressed. I really need to talk to you, Louis, right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it. My days Dang. are numbered. Okay. Elizabeth. I don't know if it's about my mother again, but I'm telling you, you've nothing to be afraid of. She didn't come here for you. I saw her. Saw who? You saw my mother? When? Just last night. I went out to walk along the cliff top and I saw her in the distance. And we talk about this she pentagram in your room, right? Right, right sitting sure right there. Sitting right there. Are you and we saying talk about you recognize my mother in the middle of the night while she was hiding? Yes, Louis. I know it was her. You just said she was far away, right? In the middle of the night. And the exterior of the island isn't exactly well lit. All Listen, these people are like, like, like this hard. <laughs> oh, she, Elizabeth definitely been through some shit. She doesn't hesitate on her answers. She's not trembling. She's really convinced of what she's seen. Did she could be crazy. No, she was far away. I, I didn't make any noise and then she was gone. Have you told anyone you've seen her? Sir Holm? Mortimer? You don't understand. It's her. She's here. Yes, I understand. It's my mother. No, you're like... not listening. The moment I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. Okay. She's here. I'm telling I got you, you. It was okay. her. <laughs> That's who I'm yes. looking for. Like, I'm not going to be scared to just because you're scared. Okay, now she's pouring herself some liquor. Please, take a drink. Just one glass. You know what? No, I'm going to refuse. Because no, I don't thanks. trust her. I, I'd better not. Listen, if you want me to tell you everything, you have to drink with me, Louis. What I have to say to you is of the utmost importance. Then say it. I don't have to drink. See, I don't trust her. Mm -mm. I don't trust you. No, I won't drink. All right, Louis. Then get the hell out of here. You're Damn. incapable of opening your eyes. So be it. Get out! Damn! Because I won't have a drink? Because I won't have a drink. I wasted my time. I think I did the right thing. Something about that didn't seem right.
clear-headed. Got me a trait. Why the hell did I go with Elizabeth? Because I thought she was going to tell me something important. I could have spent the night with Emily, but no. I had to go play the night with a big heart. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, nobody cares mind. about you trying to Tomorrow's get you some. Day. Every morning, somebody got to come beating on my door. Just let me sleep. Oh, damn. What's going on? Monsieur de Richet, I am arresting you for the murder of Elizabeth Adams. What the hell's what? going on? You are in deep trouble, my young friend. That can't be. She kicked me out of her house, out of her room. I didn't murder her. So yeah, now okay, it's typical blame the the new guy. Blame the young one. They're trying to get me framed. Allocate our points. We got four points. Etiquette. We haven't did nothing in etiquette. Let's get two in etiquette. Get one for you. And one for you, I guess. All right. There we go with episode one of the council. That's a little bit longer than I expected, but yeah, it's. It's kind of interesting, you know, dialogue can go a little bit longer than what I would prefer, but uh, it is kind of hilarious, the dialogue, and the story is kind of intriguing. I'd like to know what happened to his mother, she's on the side of good or bad, they're in, you know, in cahoots with, like, the powers that be, it seems like, people with barely immense amount of, uh, in in flu influation influential influences let's just say <laughs> they're able to to use their money and their notoriety and they're all in one big ass murder house let's see where this story goes guess we'll find that out next week make sure y'all leave a like on the video if you're not done so already make sure you follow me here youtube b dash r h y express follow me on Facebook, B-R-H-Y Express. Follow me on Twitch, B underscore, no, B-R-H-Y Express. And then follow me on TikTok, which I just put out a new video this morning. Uh, and it's called Security Questions. Make sure y'all check that out. Kind of, kind of ha-ha funny. Uh, from back the time when I played, when we played Simulacra, Sim Simulacra, however you pronounce the name of the damn game. But, uh, it made me, you know, happy about playing that game. That game was kind of fun, going back and watching it and looking at it. But yeah, make sure you follow me there. TikTok B underscore R-H-Y Express. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all next week. I believe we'll go right into chapter two, I guess, of the council. Um, Perk, appreciate you coming through. Jen, my friend, thank you. Dr. Halsey, also, thank you so much for coming through. Uh, and everybody else who just came through and just kicked it with your boy if uh perk if you're playing uh some some apex i'm gonna get at you boy i'm gonna get at you and play some with you tonight my broski it's been a minute since uh we played some apex together so uh i'll be hitting you up bro uh dr Halsey, same if you're if you're still playing if you're playing some apex tonight i'll check you out uh see if you want to play some games with me and perk or possibly you know jen my friend don't know what you're playing today, if you're playing any video games, but if you are, I hope you're having some fun. If you're playing some games that are multiplayer, you know, let me know. Hit me up. We can play something together as well. But like I said, love all y'all. Uh, yeah, so we, that's our first chapter. We got four more chapters to go. So yeah, uh, that is it of the council. 
We shall save the game. And we will continue next time. Love y'all. See y'all next time. Peace out.